if you have low levels of insulin and another molecule called insulin-like growth factor, those low levels turn on the longevity genes. And But by having high levels of insulin all day, being fed means your longevity genes are not switched on. Your clock is ticking faster by always being fed. It's not as important what you eat, it's when you eat during the day. This revolutionary perspective suggests that the effects of aging can be significantly slowed, if not halted together. The insights offer practical advice for everyday life, encouraging listeners to reassess long-held beliefs about nutrition and hunger. If you do the right things in your life, which is uh, eat healthy food, don't overeat, don't become obese, do a bit of exercise, get good sleep and don't stress, that gives you on average 14 extra years. That gets you to 94. So getting to 100, if you just focus on what I'm talking about, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So what's the maximum? Well, we know that one human made it to 122 and a number of them make it into their teens. I think that's also the next level of, of where we can get to with the types of technologies that I'm talking about. Medicines like I mentioned rapamycin, there's one called metformin, which is the diabetes drug which I take. That, in combination with these lifestyle changes, should get us beyond 100. And finally the conclusion. The material explored provides profound insights into intricate relationship between our lifestyle choices and our aging process. Central to the discussion is the concept that many modern comforts, from constant food access to sedentary lifestyles, contribute to accelerated aging. Exercise emerges as a potent tool not only for overall well-being but as a genuine debt rent against many diseases including cancer and cardiovascular issues strength cardiovascular health and muscle mass play pivotal roles in dictating one's all-cause mortality rate with significant disparities observed between those who actively maintain their health and those who don't with specific training protocols and dietary adjustments, there's an emphasized potential for humans to substantially extend their lifespan. The mention of medicines like rapamycin and metformin hints at medical advancements that, in conjunction with a disciplined lifestyle, can pave the way for many to reach or even surpass a century. The ultimate takeaway is that, with the right knowledge and application, there's no fixed limit to human longevity.